like a lot of people frown upon piercing at home, piercing without certification and whatnot. In a sense, I get that that's a bad idea and that's wrong, especially if you do not if you do not know what you're doing. But I also believe that if you really, honestly, truly know what you're doing and you are fully aware of how to take care of piercings and your experience with them and you just, you know, all around know what you're doing then, by all means, if you want to self-pierce at home I mean, you can, as long as you know what you're doing but if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to clean it and you don't know how to pierce it in the first place don't do it, don't be an idiot and just think one day, oh, I'm just going to do this or I'm um, be cool and do this. Like, no. Just be careful about it. I mean, and, um, why is there? I'll clean that later. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, so yeah. And also, I'm going to get on the topic of stretching ears, which this will be quick because there's not really nothing to it. Um, like, really soon. Dang it. Really soon, I'm gonna be stretching to a two gauge, which is this. Mine are four gauge now. So, what really irks me are the people that like have like 16 gauge or 18 gauge ears, and all of a sudden decide they want to stretch, but they want to like be at a certain size. Right now, say so shove like a big ass taper through their ear. That is stupid. That is freaking stupid. Like, I actually know a girl, and her ears are 16, her wore 16 gauge, and she a 10 gauge needle, I meant 10 gauge taper in her ear, and like it starts bleeding and gets infected really bad and stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, you really shouldn't have done that. You don't, you don't, just don't skip sizes at all. Like, I get some people do it, and like they work out fine, but odds are, half the time, they're not going to work out. 